Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Select Expert to create and apply filters to the report data. When you create and apply report filters, you in some way specify which records to include and exclude for the report. Unless you wish to display every single record from the underlying table or tables that you selected when you created the report, you must apply filters to restrict the data displayed in some manner. Crystal Reports 10 uses the Select Expert dialog box to specify the filtering criteria applied to a report. One way to begin using this tool is to first ensure that you do not have any data fields selected in your report. Then click the Select Expert button or choose Report from the menu bar and choose Select Expert. Beginning the process this way will display the Choose Field dialog box first. You can either select a field from the report or a field from the underlying tables even if it's not displayed in the report. In the Choose Field dialog box, click on the name of the field by which you want to apply a criteria restriction from the list of fields displayed. Once you've clicked on the name of the field by which you would like to apply the filter in the Choose Field dialog box, you can then click OK to finally display the Select Expert dialog box. The other way to launch the Select Expert dialog box is to simply click on the name of the field in the Details section of the report while it's in Design View, by which you would like to apply a filter first. So if we wanted to filter, say, by salary, I could click on that field, then click either the Select Expert or choose Report and then Select Expert from the menu bar. The Select Expert dialog box allows you to apply filtering conditions to the field that you selected, and you'll see the name of the field you selected displayed as a tab at the top of the Select Expert dialog box. You use the drop-down that appears on this tab to select the comparison operator by which you would like to compare the value of this field to a criteria value which you will then specify. The text box where we can specify or select from a value contained within the field will only appear after a comparison operator has been selected. Note that the number of possible criteria text boxes that do appear will also depend on the specific comparison operator selected. In these text boxes, you may have drop-down arrows appear upon which you can click to choose from a value in the selected field. The drop-down will only display the first 500 values in a field, so therefore, you can also type data directly into the displayed fields if needed. Next, we're going to examine the various types of comparison operations which are available for selection within the drop-down that appears on the Selected Field tab in the Select Expert dialog box. If a is any value is selected, then this condition specifies that there's no filter being applied. All records are displayed, and this is the default comparison operator. Is equal to will display records that exactly match the specified value. Is not equal to will display records that are not an exact match to the specified value. Choosing is one of will display all records which exactly match a list of values which you specify. Choosing is not one of will display all records which are not an exact match of any of the values specified. Choosing is less than displays all records with a value less than the value specified. Choosing is less than or equal to displays all records with a value less than or equal to the value specified. Choosing is greater than will display all records with a value greater than the value specified. And choosing is greater than or equal to will simply display all records with a value greater than or equal to the value specified. Choosing is between will display all records with a value between the two values which you specify. And choosing is not between will simply display records that have a value not between the two values which are specified. 
if you have a text field, you can also choose starts with. This operator displays all records that have the same initial characters specified. You could also choose does not start with. This operator displays all records that do not have the same initial characters specified. You could also choose is like which displays all records that match the character pattern specified. And you establish the pattern using wildcard characters of the question mark, which represents one unknown character, or the asterisk, which represents multiple unknown characters. You could also choose is not like. In this case, the operator displays all records that do not match the character pattern specified. And once again, you establish the pattern using the wildcard characters available. If you have a date field selected, you could also choose is in the period. And this operator displays all records that have a date time value that falls within the date time period specified. You could also choose is not in the period and display all records that have a date time value that does not fall within the date time period specified. If you have a logical value, you can also choose is true and is false from the comparison operator dropdown. These have no value against which to be specified. They are simply is true or is false. Also, for some of your numeric or currency fields, you could also choose formula and then type in a formula that will display any record that matches the result of the formula that you specify. The formula would have to resolve itself to a true or false value. Now once you've chosen the desired comparison operator for the desired field, you simply use the drop down to the right and select the desired value against which you would like to compare it. You can also type it into the box if you'd like. Now for logical or Boolean values, simply selecting the comparison operator is enough. For the comparison operators of is like and is not like, you must create the pattern against which to match the selected field's values. And we use the traditional DOS wildcard characters to establish this pattern. Wildcard characters are symbol characters that represent unknown values within a field. And the question mark symbol represents one unknown character in a field. The asterisk symbol represents multiple unknown characters in a field. So for example, if we were going to compare the first name with the is like condition, and we specified a criteria of t question mark, question mark, that would return records with a field value of three characters that begin with the letter T, like Tim, Tom, the. As another example, entering the like condition followed by the criteria of T asterisk would return records with a field value that begins with a T and any number of characters after it, like Thomas, Timothy, Tim, Tom, T-Bird, Thunder, any kind of word that begins with the letter T as long as there are any number of characters after it and it starts with a T. Now the wildcards can also appear before or after the known values. So you could have a wildcard comparison such as asterisk, space, and then maybe a word that you're looking for in a longer field, another space, and then another asterisk. And this would search the entire field for the word space or whatever you'd like to search for. Now after you've set your desired criteria, you can click OK at the bottom of the Select Expert dialog box to apply your filter. Then when you click the Preview tab or choose Print Preview from the menu bar, you're going to view your data. 
after you've changed your selection criteria in the future, you may be prompted to refresh your data. You can click the Refresh Data button to refresh the report data displayed in the Preview tab, which goes and extracts new records that match your current selection criteria. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.